Welcome back everybody to Desktop Inventions. Now today we're going to be going over... Hold on one second. That's much better. Now today we're going to be going over noisy 3D printers and how to silence them. So if you have one of these little machines at home, you probably know they can be annoying if you're trying to sleep or have friends over or shoot a video. So today we're going to take this Ender 3 V2 and see how quiet we can make it. So let's get to the upgrades. So before we can upgrade the 3D printer to be silent, we need to understand where's the noise coming from. So on this Ender 3 V2, we have four main sources of noise. The first one would be this fan blowing onto the heat block. The second is this fan that blows down onto the nozzle down here. So now looking under the 3D printer, we have the fan on the control board right here. And then down here, we have this fan on the power supply. So those are our four main sources of noise. And on some 3D printers, another source of noise might be noisy stepper motors. So if you have an older 3D printer that has noisy stepper motors, it can be due to the drivers on the control board are not as quiet as the newer ones. So there's some ways to upgrade that as well by upgrading a new PC board or there's some inline circuit boards you can put in the harnessing to make those quiet as well. But with the Ender 3 V2, it comes with the silent driver motors. So there's no issue there. And when using your 3D printer, you'll have different noises coming on at different times. So when you first turn on the 3D printer, you'll just have this heat block fan running. And as you select a print and it starts to warm up, you'll have this nozzle fan, the heat block fan, and the control board fan underneath. And when your 3D printer just starts printing, it'll be deceptively quiet because only the two fans up top are running and the control board, control board fan and the power supply fan are not yet running. And then after a while printing, everything is running full steam. You've got all four fans running and we are now at peak noise. In order to measure the noise level during these 3D prints, I'll be putting my phone right here in the same spot next to the 3D printer so we can measure the noise of each upgrade. Now as a throwback to the stock printer before any upgrades, here are those sound levels plotted out at each printing stage. You can see the highest is reaching 60 decibels. And now fast forward to today's starting point with the upgraded fan housing. You can see I was able to cut several decibels just by upgrading the fan housing. Now with today's baseline set, let's get started with the upgrades. So I also have to mention any of these upgrades in this video will completely void your warranty, so you've been warned. And anytime we're dealing with electronics, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the power cable. Safety first. And the first upgrade we'll start with is this control board fan. And we'll go in here and we'll disconnect that from the control board. All right, the original fan in the 3D printer is a 40 by 40 by 10 millimeter depth Creality fan. And I want to upgrade with this monster 60 by 60 by 15 fan. And I punched just a few holes in this plate for this new fan. Since the original fan is 24 volts and this new fan is just 12 volts, we'll be using this DC converter to turn the voltage down. Now that is quite a bit quieter and a lot more airflow. So we'll probably be experimenting with turning this down even more. Yeah, around 9 volts is a nice quiet hum and still has a similar amount of airflow as the other fan. And to get this fan put back in the machine, instead of using this large DC converter with the screen on it, I'm going to be using this little micro one, which is a lot smaller by comparison. And this one can only uh, regulate voltage downwards, and there's a little adjustment screw here for that. In order to make room for this larger fan, we'll be adding some brass standoffs as spacers to give us more clearance. Then we'll plug in the power. And our upgrade is complete. All right, here we are printing with the upgraded control board fan. And it's quite a bit improved, but once the power supply turned on, that thing was roaring pretty loud. So I think the next thing we'll upgrade is the power supply. 
But first, let's take a look at the sound charts. You can see we've got some pretty good gains across the board. And on the top end, bring us down to 55 decibels. All right, time to dig into the power supply. So we're gonna turn the printer around. Again, very important, make sure the AC power is unplugged. I'm gonna scoot the bed forward and we're gonna get rid of these four screws right here. All right, now I've got the 3D printer flipped over and we're gonna take this power supply cover off. Remove this cover. All right, and here's our power supply, an LRS350. So a lot of people on the internet have done things to quiet this fan down. Some of them have 3D printed and put sort of a shroud or muffler over this. Others have gotten a larger or more quiet fan, like a Noctura fan, and put that here. I am gonna take a slightly different approach today. So here I have a Meanwell UHP 350, also 24 volts, but this one does not have any fans. Also a nice feature of this one, it is encapsulated in gel, so all the electrical components are encapsulated. Helps to prevent from dust and humidity. Problem we have though is with this LRS350, all of the electrical connections come out of one side, and this UHP350 has the AC power on one side and the DC on the other. So I don't think that's gonna fit in here very well. So the AC wires, so the AC wires can easily come over and hook up here, but the DC wires are not gonna have much room. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit and see how we can get this mounted up. So I've got longer wires soldered on here, and I think we're gonna take and put this power supply diagonally and get these DC power wires hooked up over here and the AC power wires over here. And now to mount this power supply, I've made this little strap bracket that'll hold that in place. And now we'll add a few cable ties over here to keep this wiring secure. All right, here we are printing with the upgrade power supply. This is normally the part where that fan would kick in, but now there is no fan to kick in. So, sounding pretty good. Now let's take a look at the sound chart again. You can see we've shaved off an impressive four decibels with the power supply upgrade bring us to a total of 51, which is down nine from our starting point. Now the main thing I can hear is this heat block fan right here, so you guessed it, that's next. All right, gonna take a similar approach on this extruder fan as we did for the control board fan. So here's the original 40 by 40 by 10 Creality fan. And I purchased a 40 by 40 by 20 fan off the internet, so that one will be a little bit quieter. Even though they're both 24 volts, this one will have a little bit more airflow, got a little more amperage there. So we're probably gonna put a DC converter on this guy and turn it down a little bit if we want to optimize the noise profile of it. All right, doing a bit of a bench test here. I've got both fans strapped to this bar and gonna turn on the Creality one on the left, the original one. And I felt the airflow and measured the sound. It's about 50 decibels. And then with the new thicker fan on the right, also done the sound test and the airflow test. And this one still flows more air. And I've turned the voltage down to about 20 volts. And this one's sitting at about uh, 46 decibels. So confident we're gonna get more airflow with this one on the right and it'll be quieter. All right, now I've got the fan soldered up with the mini DC converter on there. So we're gonna go ahead and install this. All right, in this DC converter, I'm just going to cable tie in the back of uh, this piece here. And there we have it, have the deeper fan and the DC converter on the back there. Now with the new extruder fan installed and the voltage turned down, got a nice modest two decibels across the board, bringing us down to a total of 49 decibels now. All right, so we've made big improvements on the sound of the 3D printer and pushed those sound levels way down. And this is where I had planned to end the video today. But to be honest, I wasn't quite happy with the results. So I went online and got a Noctura fan. And we're gonna go ahead and put this in the extruder and see if we can push the sound levels down a little bit more. And just how much quieter is a Noctua fan, you ask? Well, that's a great question. Let's take a look.
yeah, turns out it's a lot quieter. So now I've got the Noctua fan here geared up with the DC converter to lower that voltage. Well, let's get this installed and see about the results. Looking at the sound charts again with this Noctua fan installed, we're seeing some really great improvements. On the top end now, we're sitting at 47 decibels. What's that? You thought I was done here? Well, so did I. But this little printer is not quiet enough yet. Now that this Noctua fan is very quiet, we can now hear this blower fan. So what's quieter than this noisy blower fan on top? Two more Noctua fans. At least that's the theory anyways, so we're going to put it to the test. So I've got this new extruder fan assembly printed out, and it's going to mount three fans on the front, left, and right, and we're going to get that swapped out for a final noise test. Now I'll be taking out the old fans from the Z19 extruder head and get that all disassembled so we can make room for the new extruder head assembly. Well, the Z19 has treated me well, but we won't be needing this anymore. Okay, first things first, let's get the left and right fans mounted onto this new block here, and then we'll get the wiring cleaned up. Now I'll be assembling these fans with these finger guards to protect things from going into the fans. And it's really simple to mount these fans to the new extruder mount, just four screws onto each fan. Alright, now I've got those both mounted up. We've ran into a minor problem here. Uh, when trying to mount this on the bracket, it will not sit flat. And the problem is this little bolt head is too tall. And looking on the back side here, there's a little pocket relief for it, but this pocket is not deep enough. So we're going to do some uh, manual adjustment with a soldering iron, see if we can get that to fit. All right, now I've got a big hole burned into the back of this guy, and this can be mounted up just fine. Now, the second problem we found is moving this extruder over to the left. Uh, we're actually contacting this QR code cover here instead of contacting this switch. And if I hadn't caught this issue now, this extruder head would have tried to ram itself into this cover when trying to auto home and possibly broke something else. So we're gonna do a little bit of a bush fix to get this fixed temporarily. I do not recommend this because if this hot glue falls off, uh, we'll have the same issue again where this extruder head will try and crash into that switch. Alright, now I can see with that hot glue added that we will hit the switch before this uh, crashes into this QR code cover. Now I've got these two fans and wires hooked up to this DC converter here and the next step will be to mount this extruder back onto the base. And finally, for the third fan, which will be mounting on the front. Now, before we get all these wires cleaned up, let's turn the machine on and make sure all the fans work. All right, now I've completed a test print, verified all the fans are working and everything's in order, and this thing is quiet. So now the last step is to clean up the wires up top. So I've cut open some larger shrink tube I had lying around, and I'm gonna wrap that around these wires. This isn't the most elegant solution, but it looks a lot better than it did before. And now looking again here at the final sound chart, we can see indeed Noctua fans are very quiet, giving us our biggest savings of 8 decibels. And the overall sound of the 3D printer now is just 39 decibels. So now I'll throw on some reference points on the graph for comparison. We can see when we started out, we were at the level of a hairdryer. Then we went through some upgrades. We got to busy street, normal conversation level. After many upgrades, got to the light rain and quiet library level. And then finally in the end, with all the Noctua fans, we got to a whisper quiet 3D printer. And now with all these upgrades done, we truly have whisper quiet printing. As you can see now, this 3D printer is wicked silent. I'm going to have no issues having meetings or sleeping at night. And if you've made it this far, I appreciate the support and I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you next time at Desktop Inventions.